Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do is, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to determine end behavior. And uh, basically, MB how to determine end behavior comes in a couple steps. First, what we want to do is make sure we write our um, polynomial in descending order. And remember, descending order is when we write a polynomial with the largest power, which is the degree of the polynomial, and then go down into descending powers. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we need to identify the leading coefficient and the degree. Now, again, um, when we have like y equals a to the x to the n, dot, 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 dot. All right, so this is your leading term. Remember, a, your leading coefficient is equal to a, and your degree is equal to n, right? Leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of your leading term, and n is going to represent your degree. Now, obviously, this isn't for a problem. Uh, I'm just kind of doing some arbitrary uh, work here. So once we identify that, then we need to use the leading coefficient test. And basically, the leading coefficient test is based on, is your leading coefficient positive or negative, And is your degree odd or even? And based on those results, we can pretty much determine what the end behavior is going to be. So I'll kind of write it in here. So here, what we can have is you can write, um, you can have your leading coefficient is positive or negative. Positive or negative. Then you can have your degree is odd or even. So when we look at is our degree a positive or even, there's going to have different end behaviors. So when we have a positive uh, leading co when we have a positive leading coefficient, positive leading coefficient, here's your LC, positive leading coefficient and odd, it's going to rise right, fall left. If our leading coefficient is negative, and, but it's odd, then it rises left, falls right. And ladies and gentlemen, this is true for all powers. Again, when I say that the degree is odd, that means y equals x to the third, y equals x to the seventh, y equals x to the 19th. All of them are going to have the same end behavior. And obviously, it doesn't matter you know, it's, if it's a positive large number or small number. If it's positive, it's going to fall within that. Even if I have a positive leading coefficient and an even degree, then my end behavior is rises right and rises left. And if it's negative uh, coefficient, but an even degree, then it falls left and falls right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of like your basic of your leading coefficient test. And obviously, there's another thing of formal, uh, which you're going to probably need to know, which I go through on some videos. But basically, when determining your end behavior, you just need to make sure you have it written in descending order, identify your leading coefficient and degree, and then use the test to identify your end behavior. There you go.